high count. So most of the cases that I've introduced so far are grammatical cases. Uh, grammatical cases show what relation a nouns, pronouns or noun phrases have to the verb uh, of a clause. Now uh, in his book called Case, uh, Barry B Blake also distinguishes uh, semantic cases, which are frequently called local cases. Uh, and local cases uh, are related to destination, source, location, uh, and path. Uh, and I have already uh, shown one Ngara uh, semantic or local case, uh, locative. So here we have train da. So train, train, uh, obviously, uh, and locative. And in these examples, uh, we have three more Ngara uh, local cases that are illustrated. So first we have Marabigorinya Ngoro, where Ngoro is ablative, so from. Uh, Marabigori is the Ngara name for the town of Port Headland. Uh, look it up on a map. Strictly speaking, Nya here is a suffix that is not part of the actual name. Uh, the name is Marabigori. Uh, nya is a suffix that only occurs uh, on toponyms and it alternates with malo. Uh, and they are not part of the name. Uh, I will get back to these suffixes uh, in a moment. So, from Port Headland or Marabigori. Uh, nganana, first person plural exclusive. And Yano, uh, go in the past tense. So, from Port Headland, we went. Uh, train da, on the train. Pibanyagani. And Gani is allative, so direction towards. And Piban is the indigenous name for the town that is actually called Marble Bar uh, in English. Or actually, the Australian way of saying it would be more nasal, like Marble Bar, something like that. So, if you want to see what a Marble Bar looks like, uh, I guess this is the place to go to. I haven't been myself, it was in the wrong direction. Uh, but anyway, uh, from Port Headland we went on the train to Marble Bar. Now, Nya uh, means in the area of, as it so happens. Uh, and Malu, exact location. So the Ngara tribe felt that it was relevant to make this distinction. So, are these case markers, Nya and Malo? Well, I would say, why not? Uh, they are related to location. But uh, I suppose you could argue that they are not. Uh, and this illustrates that in a language or languages that are as synthetic as the Pamanyungan ones, it is very difficult to draw a clear line between case marking suffixes and other suffixes that are used on nouns and pronouns, but which do not mark case. Yes, uh, moving on to example number two. This is the answer uh, to the question, where did you get that? Where did you get that? Nyaigao 
nano one and gao here uh, marks source uh, nyai is the demonstrative for something that is close by so it means this one or this thing uh, nano first person singular dative and wano the verb to give uh, in the past tense so this one gave me uh, there is no it in this sentence there doesn't have to be uh, and concerning nya and malo i should do a series about subgroups of ngara nominals uh, it's easy to distinguish subgroups based on differences in case marking potential but i think this will be all for right now so i will see you later